Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I am Dante Payne, your host for this evening, and we got a exciting show for you today. We're going to break down the NBA as well as the NFL. This playoff run is so close. So many people are here by in the hunt for players. And I'll tell you who those teams are coming up. But before I talk about it, oh, another thing. I'm on the verge of getting ready to graduate, y'all, but I'm still going to do my show, Dragon Sports Live, here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. It's the best place to be. It's not just sport. It's a way of life. Let's get it cracking. Can't wait, can't wait. But before we get right into that, I'm going to give you Kurt Green, and this song is called Wave. Check it out here on Dragon Sports Live. You spent your whole day contemplating Baby, I've been waiting Tell me what's up before I take a Cause girl, I've been patient You so concerned about your friends And what the hell they saying What they say Cause they can't tell you how to feel No, they can't tell you if it's real No, no, no Only I know the truth Girl, I'm so into you I'm so into you know I've been wanting Tell me what to do uh, You say your friends don't approve of me Man, what they talking yeah, about? Baby, daddy always talking to me Just say I know they're making it hard to choose oh, yeah. But don't let them get you confused I ain't here to waste your time Don't pay them no mind Come on, girl, hop on this way with me Won't you hop on this way? Baby, daddy, on some bullshit Heard that nigga acting foolish Hate to see it going through this he, he, He's useless And he can't tell you how to feel no, no. Girl, he just mad because it's real Only I know the truth, I know the truth. Girl, I'm so into you Ain't no I've been wanting you I've been wanting Please tell me what to do uh, uh. Say your friends don't approve of me Man, what are they talking about? Yeah, baby, daddy always talking to me Just say I know they're making it hard to choose oh, yeah. But don't let them get you confused I ain't here to waste your time Don't pay them no mind Come on, girl, hop on this way with me Won't you hop on this way? Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, I am Dante Payne, your host this evening. And let's get right down into it. Man, it's been a exciting week as far as the NBA. It was a good get some good games going on yesterday. We had the Portland Trail Blazers, who was 15 and 12, going 
school against the Houston Rockets. That score was 104 to 111. And I watched that game from start to finish. Portland had a good start, but all of a sudden in that fourth quarter, Houston turned it up. Harden going 29 points. And by the way, 93% of his threes in that game was not was unassisted. So that you know, that was probably just step back three pointer hit right in your face. And then you they had not only Harden with twenty nine points, they had seven other players in double figures that day. So that was a good game for Houston that put them at twelve and fourteen on the verge of becoming over five hundred. And another team who started out kind of rocky but have been on a little terror the last couple of games it's been the San Antonio Spurs. They're now 14 and 14 after the 111 to 86 victory over the Phoenix Suns, who is now 4 and 24. For the Suns, I don't know what to say about this team. You got some good players, you got some good talented. They just cannot, they only can manage to get four wins. And it's just like, you don't know, like, do you trade to get another player? Do you, you know, let some people go? It's that, that's like, what do you do in this instance? Because I ain't seen the Suns. Yeah, since they got booked, I haven't seen the Suns been this far down at the start of the season. They be up, and they have their ups and downs, but, man, not to be getting blown out. It's like this is their fourth game where I've seen they get blown out about at least 20 points plus. So the Suns need help. Trade day lines, not here yet, sons. Make a trade. Trade for somebody. Get somebody new. Because the deadline is not here. So I'm like, y'all need to figure out what y'all need to do. Work that out and get it cracking. But in the other hand, on the other side, Greg Popovich just got became fourth all-time in far as wins. That's a big accomplishment. And it's about that time of the year with November. He'll grow his beard out and, and look like Santa Claus. But congrats to that. Another big game. This team. This is a who you call the, the, the sleeper team right now. It's like people down them. They ain't got to worry about LeBron sweeping them. Because he's in a whole different conference now. But. Toronto Raptors right now are sitting at 22 and 7 after the 123 to 99 win over the LA Clippers yesterday. Ibaka, Sergio Ibaka, 25 points, nine rebounds, and Kyle Lowry gave 21 points and seven assists. What a combination! Kawhi unfortunately will be sent out. A game due to the bruised hip that he has, but what a compass! Like ever since Kawhi, they got Kawhi and Danny Green on the Raptors, they've been balling. It's like you got a whole reform, rejuvenated Kawhi Leonard, and he's balling. Not just balling like regular; he balling like out of control, no other. Straight just balling. So big ups to them with their 22 and record. 22 and 7 record. That's crazy, right? It's crazy to think about that. That their record's that high right now. Man, it's super crazy to think about that. Like they're sitting. Actually, if you look at that whole the stand is currently, you got teams that you didn't even expect to be up in that top rank. In that top right now, in the far as standings goes, like for example, we got Milwaukee sitting at eighteen and eight, and Philadelphia sitting currently in third right now, nineteen and nine, and Indiana seventeen and ten, Boston sixteen and ten. So it's like it's going to be a battle in this Eastern Conference. Who going to prevail? Now I want Boston to prevail. But I, I can see Boston and Toronto playing for that final. Who's going to go to the finals? I can see that. Now, on the other hand, at the bottom of the t- 
Stodem Pole. It's the hometown favorites. It's Chicago. They're six and twenty-two. The Cavaliers is one less has one less loss than them, so they're over them right now. But speaking of the Bulls, the Bulls literally was playing on boycott and price. They had a team meeting just to talk about Jim Bolin's actions, how he's coaching very rough and just yeah, you rough and you just coming out there and it's like I I can understand what they're going through. It's like you just got this team. You can't start coaching rough like, hey, I'm bringing that energy, I'm bringing that pride. I don't know what talk you and Pastor had, but it's like you can't just bring that. You gotta get used. You gotta let the team get used to you. Then start coaching them hard. Then start going in on them. Then that's what you do. But yeah, they had a team meeting. Was playing on boycott and practice, but then Bowler met with the team right before, right after that team meeting, and then he also been meeting one on one with the players, just trying to get a better feel, like. They trying to fix everything and nip things in the bud. And then, you know, young boy Lurry marketing, he said, step up. Let me be the leader of this team. Let me be the voice of the team. Let me talk to to coach. So he's also talking with the coach doing one-on-one. But we need some help. We need some help off the bench. It's good to have Dunn and um, Porters back into the lineup. But now we got to get them back game ready. You know, granted – that was their first game back. Let's get y'all back in the full form. Let's get y'all back in the great form how y'all was. Let's get done giving 10 assists a game, at least 10 points, and let Porters go crazy from three. Also, throw Parker in there. Parker's been balling since he's been with the Bulls. He was balling with Milwaukee too, but he's been low-key balling with the Bulls. And I actually like Parker with the Bulls because that gives you another big man who can shoot threes as well as play, so that gives you a smaller lineup, but that's big at the same time. So I'm really loving that lineup that we got. Man, when is our next game? Give me one second while I holler at the research team and let y'all know when the next game is. It's going to be a good one, trust me. Once we get used to this coach... It's going to be a good game. So we only in week 9 of the NBA in week 15 or week 16. Yeah, week 15 now of NFL. Crazy to believe that, but that's super crazy. So the next game will be in Mexico City against the Orlando Magic. So that was the Eastern Conference that I told you about. Let me switch over to Western Conference. Western Conference, you got OKC, 17-8 right now, sitting in first. Over Golden State Warriors, who's 19-9. And and Denver, 18-9. Denver is that surprise team that I wasn't expected to be sitting currently third in the standards right now. Nikolai Djokovic has actually been balling. He's been giving you a low-key, quiet triple-double, and he's been putting up points left and right. And you got the Clippers and the Lakers right now, who both are 17-10. Both L.A. teams is doing pretty good right now. They are currently a game and a half out of being first for the Lakers in their conference right now. Crazy, right? Another team that y'all think about? And I tell people not to sleep on this team at all. Memphis Grizzlies, they they are some fighters. They some battlers. They they're gonna get in that grind. They're 15 and 11 right now. And you got Dallas 14 and 11, and then Portland 15 and 12. Sacramento 14 and 12, and then San Antonio 14 and 14. New Orleans 14 and 15 right now. And then Minnesota 13 and 14. So Everybody in the Western Conference pretty much got double-digit records except the Suns. As I stated before, the Suns need some help. They need a lot of help, actually. 
So currently on their roster, they have Ryan Anderson, who came from Houston, Trevor Ariza, Alton, Bender, and Devin Booker, and McCall Bridges. They also have the vet, Jamal Crawford. They just got Juwan Evans from the G League. And you also got Josh Jackson, Richard Holmes, King, George King, DeAnthony Melton, Eric Moreland, Eli Okabe, and TJ Warren. You got a lot of youth, but you also got a lot of vets. It's like, they can't do it on their own. And y'all, you guys, are they're straight guard heavy. So they getting they getting bullied on. Your tallest person is seven one. Your second tallest is six foot ten. After that, you have basically your Draymond Greens without the Draymond Green stats on that team. So I think y'all need to make a trade. Y'all need to see if y'all can get another forward or another center. Who can help y'all. Or somebody who's going to do it. Because Devin Booker can't do it on his own. He can't. He need help. Currently averaging. Minutes per game. He's averaging 35. Three point percent. He's 31 percent from three. And then field goes. He's 44. He can't do it on his own. He needs help. The team needs help. Some like some guys to give. So what y'all think? If y'all tune to me on live, leave a comment. And I'll be sure and try my best to answer those questions for you. Drop a comment. Any comment y'all want to say, I will put you out there. You're listening to Dante Payne on Dragon Sports Live. Here on Chicago Land Sports. It's not just a game, but it's also a way of life. So check that out. Be sure. That you tune in every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Where I will give you the lay down sports talk and music. The best way to roll. Best way to roll. That's the only way I know how to roll. So with that being said. I'm going to give you a whole nut of song. And that song is called Runner by Good Ghosts. Their CD is on available on iTunes. So get go on to iTunes, type in Good Ghost, and then type and then download their album. Their album is awesome to listen to if you love rock and all that. I like all types of music, so it's not just rock. I like hip hop. I like rap. I like it all. Here you go, Good Ghost. <laughs>
camera. Action. Hey there, I'm Dante Pay. I am the founder and CEO of Dragon Jump Productions. Dragon Jump Productions specializes in media production based in Chicago. We offer services in graphic design, photography, as well as videography. We also work with models as well. So if you got an idea for a um, photo shoot or you need to be branded, let us help you make your brand. Dragon Jump Productions will claw their way into stardom by making you look great. So if you want to book that next photo shoot with Dragon Jump Productions, reach out to the Dragon Jump Pro at gmail.com or call 773 Again, that's dragonjumppro at gmail.com or call 773-892-4514. Let us take you and make you great. Look now at Dragon Jump Productions. Chicagoland Sports Radio is your home for all of the latest Chicago sports news. CSR is not only the home to the most entertaining and informative shows in Chicago, but covers all of the top college and high school games as well. Big guests and bigger personalities. This is your home for the greatest debates in sports. Broadcasting live from State Street in the South Loop. For all of the news, analysts, and interviews to keep you informed, Log on to ChicagolandSportsRadio.com to listen live. Chicagoland Sports Radio. It's not just sports, it's a way of life. Have you ever struggled in the middle of your workout or practice? Have you ever struggled in the midst of a sporting event? Have you ever struggled just by doing normal things throughout your day? They say refuel with plain water to get throughout the day. Newsflash, water just does not cut it. You need electrolytes and vitamins B and C, as well as other natural energies to get through the day. So instead of drinking plain water, grab yourself an electrolyting. Taste a fine, thirst refresher vitamin water to get you through any hump or bump in the road. So go grab that thirst refresher vitamin water today. Let that power your day, your workout as well as your game. Let it start your body up like a race car engine. Go ahead and go get a vitamin water today. And let's drop that plain old water to the side. Welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, I'm the one and only Dante Payne in the building. We Now we're just talking basketball currently right now. And we're still going to give you a little basketball. Guess who gets the return? To return. Victor Olipo to return after 11 game absence. He's been ball- ever since, in my opinion, ever since he went to the Pacers, he's really been balling. And when he was with OKC, he was all right, but he's really been balling since he went with the Pacers. Current scores right now: we have Boston versus Washington. Boston's currently losing 17-23 to 23 right now in the first, with 2.43 left in the, four, in the first quarter. Excuse me, get a little time. So I, and then we also have the Pacers versus the Bucks. Pacers currently leave the Bucks 22-17 to 17 as well. And then New York versus Cleveland. Cleveland is actually winning 21-18. to 18. Without Tristan Thompson, Tristan Thompson will be out two to four weeks. Due to a sprained foot, by the way. So, without Tristan Thompson in that game. And the 76ers leads Brooklyn 25-19 to with 356 left in the first. And they are without Jimmy Butler tonight. He's out to, for tonight as well. And last not but least, you got that's current for cars, current games going on. You got Charlotte Hornets versus the Detroit Pistons, and that's 24 to 17 as well in the first. So a lot of these games is a little close tic-tac, you know, good defensive battle. Later on tonight, we have the Toronto Raptors versus Golden State. That's the game I'm I'm looking to see. Like, that could be a, a finals preview right there. We never know, but we have to wait and see. Basically, to me, the NBA season doesn't start to me until the second half. Because it's like, who's going to make that playoffs? Who's going to make that push? Who's going to go on the surge? That's what you got to think about with that. And 
going speaking of go to state they was talking about sending Steph Curry to the moon, but he also just revealed his new Curry Sixes, which makes home it, it goes to his hometown. It represents Golden State, the Oakland area. I'm looking forward to that. But that's it for uh NBA, we gonna go. now in football. We did had quite a few good games this past week in football. I mean, when I say good, I mean good. Let me go down the list and tell you what. Minus the Jaguars game, the Titans and Jaguars. Titans got in the Jaguars' booty. 30-9 to nine to prove the 7-6. Not only that, Derrick Henry rushed for 238 yards. That's the Titans' franchise record. Four touchdowns. Two 50-yard 50 50 yard plus runs on the Jaguars. They're really falling apart. It's like, what happened to that spunk that we had when y'all first started? Since then, you guys, is it's just like you guys are falling off the map. As far as, like, where you was at and where you was at. You also don't have a quarterback. A lot of people <laughs> don't like borders. And then, Chad Henney is no better. So, it's like, you guys need a quarterback, too. And you also traded up with one of your... Best defensive pass rushers. You traded him to the Rams. So it's like, you guys need help. You need a lot of help. Because currently, as far as standards goes, as I was talking about before, there's a lot of teams in the NFC that's in the hunt for the playoffs. A lot of teams, but I'll give it to that in a second. I'll tell you those standards after I go after this recap. So stay tuned. Keep tuning in. I got you. Anyways, the Jets and Bills game. That was a good game. It was actually a really good game. So the Jets won that game 27 to the Bills 23. Granted, it's the Bills, but both teams are now 4-9. and nine. And Josh Allen rushed for 90-plus yards in three in his third game. So this is his third game rushing for 90 yards. That was a good game. It came down all the way to the wire, the last play of the game. That's how they won that game. Panthers, Browns. Browns shocked me, and I actually picked the Browns to win for this week. They're now 5 7 and 1 when the Panthers are 6 and 7. They beat the Panthers 20 to 26 a week. And this is also the first time that Cleveland won two consecutive home games for the first time since 2014. They haven't won consecutive home games since 2014. That's showing you that they're getting better. The additions that they added. In the offseason, Baker Mayfield been has been stellar for that team right now. I think they're gonna keep on uprising. They have more have more <laughs> Oh I got a little time twice. They have won more they have more wins than they had in the past few years. That's saying a lot in the approved. On top of that, they're in the hunt. To possibly still make the playoffs. So like you need a slew of things to happen. For them to make. So you'll need basically. The Ravens. The Ravens. Colts. Dolphins. Titans. If all those teams lose. And Cleveland wins their next game. 
I'm gonna say if they win their next two games, they probably gonna end up making the wild card if they win those two games. Cause Baltimore Colts, Dolphins, Titans, they're all seven and six right now. This is how close that this division is as far as making the playoffs. It's super close. So it's going to be an uphill battle right now. Ooh, excuse me. Kind of creep up on me. We're not worried about the Bills, Jacksonville, or the Jets, or Oakland. Who, of course, let go of their GM in recent because he was responsible for that hundred million guaranteed, hundred million, yeah, the hundred million guaranteed contract to John Gruden, and he's also responsible for shipping out Amari Cooper, which I can understand why y'all ship him out, but don't y'all kind of regret shipping him out now because he's actually catching balls versus he was dropping those balls, had a lot of tip passes. When he was with the Raiders, yeah, I can respect the fact that he's actually catching and he's doing well with the Cowboys right now. And Mac is doing exceptionally well with the Bears. So, the GM was let go because of all those reasons all play hand in that GM being go. Because now Gruden has a guaranteed contract, but yeah, y'all season is 3 10. Granted, this is his first season with them. But y'all went in the dungeon to get the old man. Y'all went to the dungeon to get him off, get his chance. He was doing a lot of QB camps and stuff like that. So you'll think Carr wouldn't have no issues. Nope. Carr has issues. So, yeah. <laughs> what a crazy world. And then you go to the north side of football. Which was a very good game against the Rams and the Bears. When I say that game was good, oh man, that game was beyond good. You had Donald and Mac, and both defenses, it was just defensive battle for the first, basically the first half, it was all defensive battle. Like the score was six to six at halftime. Nobody could get a pick. Trubisky couldn't get going, really. Gio couldn't really get going. Like, they got going, but they couldn't get going like how they normally get going. We had plays for loss. It was like the first three plays was like interception. Oh, turnover, interception again. Like, back and forth, back and forth. That was an awesome game. I guess to say, that was a very good game. And what changed the tie was... So, it really was the play when Ty Gruley ran the ball and got pushed back to, like, the two-yard line. And then after that, they had force of safety on Giav and then got the ball back and scored the touchdown. That's what turned the tide. That's what gave the Bears that victory. It was the game would be going back and forth. That's why I say good game. And this is a career high for Giaz. He had four interceptions in that game. Bears improved to 9-4 while the Rams has, had got handed their second loss of the season. So who's to take? We don't know. But both Rams and Saints have clinched playoff right now. Both sitting at 11-2. and two. And then you got the Bears 9-4. Cowboys 8-5. Seattle 8-5. Minnesota six and six, and then you you have Carolina Panthers, Philadelphia Eagles, Washington Redskins all sitting at six and seven. Green Bay Packers five seven and one. It's still for a chance for them to still make the playoffs, even if they make it as a wild card. They still have that chance. Arizona, San Francisco, not such a good year for them. They both sitting at three ten. And the Falcons is actually four and nine, so it's like it wasn't a good year for these teams. But San Francisco, they're without their quarterback. But Nick Mullins is doing; they, he's been doing pretty well as far as being a rookie quarterback and being 
thrown into that, you know, thrown into that matchup. He's been he's been pretty good for them. So I give him that. Now the Raiders did beat the Steelers this weekend, so I give him that. 24 to 21. Just cause the kicker of the Steelers, Lurie made a slip, a doozy, and slipped trying to kick the ball. So I did give him that. But would it happen again? More scores from the um from this past week. Giants and Redskins. Giants demolished the Redskins 40 to 16. And it's the most touchdown by a rookie in the season in team history. He had thir- he's 13 touchdowns on the season right now. So, all in that, you had a few blowouts, a few, a few victories here and there, but none, only a few, like, demolished. Now, coming up this week, we have the Chicago Bears versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, seeing that they came close to beating Green Bay the first time, but Aaron Rodgers woke up, with one leg and start doing quick shots. I expect him to be doing hurry up offense. Cause I feel like that's slightly the bear one of the Bears' weakness. They don't know how to handle hurry up offense that well, but it's gonna be a whole different game come to Chicago. I feel like the Bears should get a W in this game and then they should improve to ten and four. That's my position. So I'm going with the Bears in this home game matchup at Soldier Field. This Sunday at 12 p.m. We also have the New England Patriots versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm going to ride with the uh, New England Patriots in this game. Brady has been on. Brady and the offense has been on a slew. So I'm riding with New England in that game. Then we got a good game to see because you got Thursday Night Football. L.A. Chargers versus Kansas. L.A. is 10-3. Kansas City is 11-2. But if Kansas, I mean, if L.A. beats L.A. Chargers, not Rams, Chargers. Just let me get that right. If they beat Kansas, the Chargers would jump ahead of Kansas City. So that's going that should be a battle. You got Phillip Rivers versus Patrick Mahomes, who's been on a slew, a terror, since being inserted into the starting lineup this season. And it's his first time starting. He's been great for the team right now. You also got Houston versus the New York Jets. I'm riding with Houston in this game. Just because they've literally been on a tear. When they got their first loss handed to them, yes, they out of going nine straight. I'm I'm riding with Houston. You got Cleveland Browns versus Denver. I would love to see if Browns could get another win, because then they'll put them at six, seven, and one, and puts them in the opportunity to possibly go past. Yeah, it possibly compete if all those other teams that I mentioned before, if they lose, it puts them in that position to be one step closer and possibly making the playoffs and then you also have Arizona Atlanta I do not know who I'm picking this game both of these teams not doing too well but if I really had to pick I would pick Atlanta in that game Detroit Buffalo I think I'm going to go with Buffalo in that game. Just to see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Buffalo because they're at home. And Detroit has been kind of falling on the back end lady ever since they traded away Golden Tate. Then you also got Oakland, Cincinnati. I'm going to ride with Cincinnati on that because... To me, Oakland feel like I feel like they cannot produce anything. They can't even produce anything on defense, and they their offense is really struggling right now. 
You got the Colts versus Dallas. Should be a good one. I'm going to pick the Cowboys only if that Prescott has 200 plus yards passing. Ezekiel Elliott has 23 or more carries in that game. So that's the only reason why I'm going to ride with Denver. I mean, ooh, wow. I'm going to ride with the Colts only if those stats. With that being said, Dallas is 22. I'm going to say, yeah, like 22 and 5 when those two stats are being, like when Prescott's 200 yards passing and Ezekiel gets 23 carries. Just saying. A must win game for Minnesota against Miami this Sunday. Must win. If they want to keep their play, they. Play off hopes alive or make and make the wild card. That's a must win for them. They gotta they gotta win that game. And then Monday, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Panthers. Now here's a, a another shocker about the Saints right now. They just cut. They cut Brandon Marshall. It's like you really didn't really like he wasn't really doing that. So it's like you really don't need him, especially when you got all those weapons around you that breezes at him. You got Ingram, you got Camaro, you got that running dynamic duo right there. You also got Michael Thomas. So it's like if you necessarily didn't need him, eh? I say get rid of him. That's what I say. If you don't need him, get rid of him. It's it's time for Marshall, in my opinion, to hang it up. If if you're going if you're not gonna be able to produce, yeah, it's time for you to hang it up. Let the young man take the reins. Let him get in that action. So yeah, it's definitely time for you to hang it up. And with that being said, well, hello there. How you doing? <laughs> Give me one second. This is breaking. Obscurity by Asha Marie here on Dragon Sports Live. Check it out. Breaking Obscurity. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They serve the God Versace, Louis, and Mark Jacob. Tricks to serving the master slick stuff. Who trying to spit game in this game? So I say dash on them like Jay did. You lost one, not letting these lanes hit. The with perversion. Rather his sermons by Bachman, Piper, Mac, got the inspiration. Lust is a beast to be kept in cages. I don't twerk for the dance like David. I deserve death. He deserves my praises. We fought like birds. Yeah, we stay raving. Things of the angels who cover their faces in the presence. Now we're here, undeserved rent, just Christ and brought near. No set with God, my charge has been clear. Now I line up my wheel with his good year to bring that word of peace to misfits. And even if they pull the heat from their hip, send off to where he is. Said it's just a send off to where he is. Yeah, I'm using my mouth like speak just to recruit soldiers for the master. Walking in Inglewood, do slinging rocks, no David's for the liars. Sin is a tyrant, they tell me be quiet. Got me feeling like John on the eye. Clean the pat, most exile living here. Never afraid, his love cast out fear. Bullets fly in the shy, but we make rounds. UFOs dish it out, stuff the ground. Step to the rhythm of this gospel. Salsa, serve it up to him on the plate. Salsa, be ahead or beheaded. We follow the lamb to the slaughter. Christians, you ready? Tell them heaven is a celebration. Don't miss out on the party. You need saving out of the darkness, but we glow. The hearts are hard, and but we know 
God created all stars, conversed with the universe and redeemed us from the curse. We deserve no more chances, but only because of Christ we've been handed the right to become his sons and daughters. We share this gospel on every corner. Because I'm smooth if you wasn't nailed to the cross, I snooze. If I don't want to share with the law, say, this is a white man's religion, but he can make you colorblind when he restores vision. Cause in the only hue that you see is red, that means your blood body, your spirit was led. To walk by faith and not by sight. So let me tune in my voice and use these pipes. I'm using my mouth like speakers to recruit soldiers for the master. To love, 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 I'm using my mouth like speakers to recruit soldiers for the master. To love, 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 love. I 
checking like you add it up. All of my women is bad, it's bad, it's not looking at me mad at us. It's added up, I add it up. How you checking like you add it up? I don't be getting it fast enough. And now with this shit, I bag it up. Add it up, add it up. I don't know about as bad as us. Taking my shirt and I'm tatted up. And I ain't gonna get like batter up. Mad as fuck, mad as fuck. All of you didn't look sad as shit. I need to rent me a pass and flip. And you can blame me that I'm yeah, bad as shit. Yeah. I got a feeling that happy you look at them real as it seems. Yeah, I tell a bitch that I love her, I'm petty, I tell her I got a hangover, hand me the jack, I'm on a Zachary Galvin act, I'm trying to ball with no salary cap, when I walk in the spot, everybody reacts, say one for the money and two for the show, three for them niggas that hate on the low, both for them hoes, they wait at the show, the love when I come, but they hate when I go, and we double the cup, and we pile in the truck, and we walk in the club, and we stand on the couch, all the bad bitches talking, say show us the love, if they ain't trying to cut, then we kicking them out, all in the day, juggin' out all that's a change, I thought it all was a phase, I call up a play, I have a pack of that green, I go back for all when I play, line up the flex, I'm trying to line up the check, I made a lot of connects, I must confess, I don't know where I would be, if I don't know why to finesse, bad it up, Tell me what they hand out. I tell them no. And to all my haters, to yourself. I gave them rope. Nigga, my girl got a girlfriend. I did them both. I just had to let them know. They say, sure, you do the most. I say, all I know I need is to go. Check. I only run with the best. My homies never confess. My niggas put me. It's never no switching to keep it this century 100%. All of my court and I never been bitching. I don't plan on taking no space on the rest. Give me the rest. They try to give me a check. I'ma go run your test. Shepin' like I might be play. I'ma go side of Mustang. I'ma go out with a bang. Y'all are go hard for them followers. I don't see all of you niggas the same. I tell the truth. Y'all the truth. Say you got M's. I need the proof. Say you got bitch. I don't see suits. Yo, ass is bad. I don't see boots. See, back in my bag. I'm in that two, three. That be that zone. And we were just whooping. Making me laugh because you just goofy. Headers is mad. Room to the loop. Said I'm back in my bag. I'm in that two, three. That be that zone. And we were just whooping. Making me laugh because you just goofy. Headers is mad. Room to the loop. Me add it up. Chicago Land Sports Radio is your home for all of the latest Chicago sports news. CSR is not only the home to the most entertaining and informative shows in Chicago, but covers all of the top college and high school games as well. Big guests and bigger personalities. This is your home for the greatest debates in sports. Broadcasting live from State Street in the South Loop. For all of the news, analysts, and interviews to keep you informed, log on to chicagolandsportsradio.com to listen live. Chicago Land Sports Radio. It's not just sports, it's a way of life. Running, training should feel like cloud nine. When you squat, you fly. When you run, you're flash. When you play basketball, you're joy. When you clean, you clean with purpose. When you walk, you strong. So don't just sit there or lay around. Just do it with the Nike Air Versatile. Basketball, running, and training, even walking, never felt so good. So grab you a pair at any local Nike store or online at www.nike.com. So grab your Nike Air Versatile and live your life the Nike way. Just do it. You won't regret it. These shoes are running out fast. So head over to your nearest Nike outlet and pick up your pair today. So pick up your pair of Nike Air Versatiles today. You won't be disappointed. Welcome back to Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne. If you're just tuning in here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com, where it's not just a game, it's a way of life. This just came across my ESPN feed. Adam Thatcher reported that Sammy Watkins 
who has a foot injury and running start running back Spencer Well and left ta- left guard sorry Cam Irvin may not play this coming week due to those injuries and also Tyreek Hill Hill and wrist is listed as questionable so if the Chiefs are a little bit banged up it may be more favored towards LAC but we don't know because Mahomes can make anybody look like a weapon. But with those few guys, those are key guys that is needed for a victory. It may be a struggle. It may be a battle. But we will find out. I will let you know how the games went. Tune in next week here at 6 p.m. for Dragon Sports Live here on ChicagolandSportsRadio.com. And I'm Dante Payne again. And I'm signing out. Peace.